Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install and configure JBIC 7.2 Kali Linux 2024. Open any web browser. Now go to jbix.com. See here at the time of making this video, JBIC 7.2 is released. Now click on get JBIX. Then click on JBIX packages. Then see here we have the JBIX version 7.2 and OS distributions. See here we have the Alma but we don't have Kali Linux. More slash etc os hyphen release. See its ID like Debian. So, so select Debian, then select latest version bookworm, then server or front end, then JBX component server or front end and database MySQL. If you want to install MySQL on Kali Linux, then you can search for my YouTube channel how to install MySQL 8.0.40 on Kali Linux 2024. Then we are going to use the Apache web server. Once you selected all these details, it populated list of the commands that needs to be executed to install and configure JBIC server. So we have to install these commands one by one. But before installing, we have to install Apache web server and PHP modules. So install Apache 2. See it is already next version. Okay. Also install this PHP and its modules. Type and hit enter. I will keep all these comments in the video description. See, we have successfully installed. Also install this one. So it is done. Okay. Now install these packages one by one. It is done. Now install this one. Copy it, paste it. Hit enter. We have to give the sudo. Hit enter. It is done. Now update the packages. sudo apt update. Hit enter. It is done. Now install the big server front end and agent. Copy it. Paste here. But at the start give the sudo. And hit enter. Now see. It is going to install these dependencies and these packages. Type and hit enter. See, now it is downloading the JBIX frontend. See, you have successfully installed to activate, you need to run this one. Okay, it's done. So, let us verify the status of JBX. Control L, sudo systemctl to verify the status of JBX server. JBX, give the tab, server. Hit enter. Okay, I have to give the status. See, JBX server is installed, but not started and disabled. I'm not going to do that now. You have to configure database. So, now create the initial database. As I told you, I have installed MySQL on Kali Linux 2024. So we have to connect to MySQL. MySQL hyphen u root hyphen. See, I have installed MySQL server version 8.0.40. First we are going to create database, then we are going to create the user, then we are going to grant privileges, then we are going to set the this global variable. So copy these commands one by one. Paste here. Hit enter. We have created database. So databases. See new database JBX is there. Okay. Now create a user. See here up to here it is okay. And password for this user is password. If you want to change, you can change. I'm not going to change. So select it. Copy. Paste here. Hit enter. It is done. 
now grant the privileges to this user for the JVX database. It is done. Now set the global global variable. Paste it, hit enter. Now fit. Now we have to import the initial schema and data. So copy this command. See, last one is the username. Okay. That is MySQL username. Then we have to give the password of this user. This is whatever the password here you have given that you have to give it. So I have given the password. So give the password. It is done. Now connect to MySQL again and we have to set this 0. So MySQL hyphen u root hyphen p go to database. Just I am going to show you that list of the objects it copied. Use jbix show tables See, it has copied these many tables. Okay. So, we have to set this one. 0, copy it, paste it, hit enter, quit. Now, we have to configure the JBIC server. So, go to this file, copy it, sudo vi, paste that file name, then go to wherever we have that db password. See here it is there. Remove that hash, shift A, then give the password. I have given the password for the user JBX as password. So for you it means different. Then save the file. Okay. It is done. Now we have to start the JBX server and agent process. Agent processes. So copy this command, paste it, hit enter. So, I forgot to give sudo at the start. So, provide the password of sudo user. Hit enter. Authenticate. Apache server file. So, first verify JVX server status. sudo. sudo system CTL status JVX server. See, JVX server is started. Only Apache server is failed. Okay. First enable. Paste it. Hit enter. Confirm the password. Again, authenticate. So, cancel it. At the start, give the sudo. And hit enter. It is done. Verify the status of the Apache server. sudo systemctl status apache2. It is typo. See, Apache server is failed. We have to install this one then it is already enabled then install these packages i will keep these commands in the video description we need to install these commands whenever apache not started okay so all done see up to here it is done now we have to connect to apache web server so we have to give this command http hostname then jpx go to new tab http colon host here host is give the hostname see this is the hostname then we have to give this, this host name, copy, right click, copy, paste it, then give the JBIX, hit enter. See, it is HTTP, not HTTPS. See, we got the front end. JBIC sounder. So click on next step. See all are green and its status is okay, which means prerequisites match. Then click on next step. 
then select MySQL because we selected MySQL and MySQL is installed on this PC. So give localhost or same this host name. Okay. And port number is 3306 for the MySQL. And database name is JBX. Then username also JBX. Provide the password. My in my case password is password only. Then click on next. Not now. Something like that. Password. Then click on next step. Not now. Now JBX server name is I, we have installed JBX server on this PC. So I am giving localhost. Then default time zone. I am going with the defaults. You can select any one of them based on your time zones. Okay. And default themes. I am going with the blue. Then click on next step. See this is the pre installation summary. If you are okay with all the settings, then click on next step. See congratulations. You have successfully installed JBX front end. Okay. Click on finish. Now we have to connect to JBX server. The default username is admin. A must be caps. See, this is a case sensitive. And password is JBX. All are in small case. Then click on sign in. I am going to keep this pass username and password in the video description. Not now. See here, we have installed JBX server version number 7.2.1. Front end also same. Okay. If you want to see the users, click on users. Then click on users again. If you want to create user, you have to click on create user. If you want to change the password of this admin account, click on it. Then click on change password. Or you can change the username also. And go to home, dash, go to home. If you want to see the dashboard, click on dashboards, monitoring. And see here, we have different options. Okay. So in this video, we have seen how to install JBIC server 7.2 on Kali Linux 2024. For more videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.